Alexandra, Egypt, is one of the most prominent mathematicians during this time, which is 300 BCE. He is also ranked 14th most influential person in history because of his elements of geometry. But how well do people know him? To find out for ourselves, we decided to head into town and ask the locals. Who is Euclid? No idea. I have no idea. Uh, I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. And to our surprise, people did not know who he was. Right. Could it be because it happened so long ago? Or just because the name doesn't stick? Either way, we'll be diving into the rest of his life and his accomplishments. Um, can you guess what? time period he belonged to. 400 BC. Um, <laughs> no, I cannot. Any guesses? I can tell. Oh, uh, founder of geometry. Yes. Or something that Joanne had to run out of. I'm going to say 300 BC. And the third and final question. Um, how many of Euclid's elements were written in a book. Six. Close. Thirteen. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. And last and final question. Do you know of any other mathematicians? Can you name any? <laughs> oh my god, no. I can't. <laughs> That's <laughs> alright. Socrates? Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> I got no clue on this one. Um, I think I got two more. Besides Euclid, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Pythagorean. Yes. Okay. Pythagoras. Yeah. Pythagoras. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, it's called Isaac Newton. Yes. Yeah. He would be considered one. All right. That's that's a wrap. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. After seeing what the locals had to say about Euclid and other mathematicians, we decided to go back and learn more about Euclid's life, education, and more. As stated before, Euclid was born in Alexandria during the 4th century. Um, he was not relevant, however, until around 323 uh, through 283 BC. Um, it is thought that he received a degree in math um, from Plato's Academy in Athens, as well as he worked with a team of mathematicians from Alexandria to write his 13 elements of geometry. Um, his book one through six deals with plane geometry, book seven to nine deal with number theory, Book 8 is on geometrical progression. Book 10 deals with irrational numbers. And books 11 to 13 deal with three-dimensional geometry. Euclid's five general axioms. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other.
If equals are added to equals, the wholes or sums are equal. The opposite is also true. If equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. Things that coincide with one another are equal to one another. And finally, the fifth general axiom is that the whole is greater than the part. Moving on, these five geometrical postulates were For 1. It is possible to draw a straight line from any point to any point. And it is possible to extend a finite straight line continuously in a straight line. A line segment can extend past endpoints to form an arbitrary large line segment. Third, it is possible to create a circle with any center and distance radius. Fourth, all right angles are equal to one another. And his last geometrical postulate is, if a straight line crossing into straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side less than two right angles, the two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side on which the angles are less than two right angles. As shown above, these are the five geometrical postulates starting from one to five. The first one being that it is possible to draw a straight line from any point to any point. The second one shows that you can draw a continuous straight line regardless of the segment. The top right one shows that it is possible to create a circle with just center and distance. The fourth one shows that all right angles are equal to one another, while the last two show the diagram with the two lines crossing each other, creating interior angles that are less than two right angles.